We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Hi, this is Susie Pruden, and welcome to Mastermind Live with Susie Pruden on LA Talk Live, where we're more than just talk. And I am so excited to introduce you to my guest for today. Her name is Desiree Dubois. Can you take a bow? And uh, she started an amazing organization called An Empowered Woman, which is a networking. It's it's more than networking. I mean, I'm going to have to ask you, Desiree, <laughs> to explain it because it is a global membership-based networking community and resource center for women professionals and entrepreneurs. And so how did this all begin? Um, Honestly, it began about seven years ago. We just celebrated our seventh anniversary in October, and it started in my living room. I was a real estate agent, and I was trying to get more women involved in investing in real estate. So I started having these brunches at my home, inviting them on a Sunday, but I thought they needed more motivation, more inspiration. And um, so I had different speakers come in, and they would speak, and they would talk about getting out of your own way, destined for greatness, finding the diva in you. And um, the ladies would eat, and they would talk, and they would share, and then they would cry and say bye. And we said, let's do it again. And we kept doing it until eight months later, where my living room was cra- I mean, crowded as it can be. The people bring their own folding chairs to get in. So then I had to start having their lunches catered. And I catered, I had to start charging. The charge had to open a bank account. And the bank account had to do a DBA. And there was the beginning of An Empowered Woman. That's amazing. <laughs> there was no business plan. It was a life plan. That's amazing. Now, how many members are there now? We have over 12,000 members worldwide, from especially um, from a lot of the Asia, um, uh, Australia, Canada, and a lot of European countries. So we're going to go open chapters there next year. That's oh, that's plan. exciting. Yes, we have that's that. exciting. Any excuse to get there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do people get from being a member of An Empowered Woman now? I know you started with conversations in your living room, exactly. but I know that it, there's an it's awful evolved. lot more. It's evolved. Um, we support women in starting, fixing, and building their businesses. So we provide radio shows, TV shows, mastermind meetings, seminars, um, web teleclasses, and live events, awesome live events. So it's more education, motivation, and community. So how we do that is platform, like we do a radio show. Um, where we introduce the ladies to our community, so it's a law talk radio. We do a TV show where it's formatted like a, um, like a uh, what's the show? The View, where we talk about different topics, business topics. That's to be able to share information and uh, opportunities to women in business and women entrepreneurs. We have a directory where they li- name and all their information is listed on directory, including their audio and their video and their social media contact. And we're building that to be the largest online directory of women professionals and entrepreneurs. We want it to be as big as Angie's List and Craig's List. Cool. Uh, we have a um, calendar where they can submit their information to our calendar, so not only we can enjoy, but anybody that logs on can enjoy that information. I have to send you information for my upcoming yes, workshop. Yes, yes, yes. Just yeah. send it I'm going to be doing it with, with Shelly Hunt this oh, time. Oh, that's great. And we're going to be doing it the day after CEO Space in Henderson as well. Uh, two of them or one? I'm doing the first one on the 8th, okay. which is the day before I leave for CEO Space. Mm-hmm. And I'm speaking at CEO Space on Monday. Shelly's speaking there, I think, on Tuesday and Thursday. And then we're going to do one on the following Monday right after CEO Space for all the CEO Space people. So we're going to do one here in in Los Angeles Mm -hmm. on the 8th. And then we're going to do another one at CEO Space after CEO Space on the 17th. And what's the topic? How to create your six-figure income now. Wow. (laughs) And and, and if you're making six figures, let's move it to seven. To another, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. So that would be perfect. Absolutely. Send it in to us and we'll put it on the calendar. I will. But being able to offer opportunities like that to be able to share your information to others as well as, you know, listen to teleclasses on less strictly business, listen to teleclass on less talk success, where women who have achieved the seven figure mark have go back and they share the stories, the challenges, the victories and secrets to success. To participate in our mastermind meetings, everything that women need um, in business, entrepreneurs, it's awesome. 
Now, is this online or do you have this in person? How does it work? Both. Both. Like the teleclasses are online, so that way we can cater to our members well, that are outside all over the, the world. Yeah. Family, that are outside the area. Our web radio shows and TV shows cater to them as well. Then we have the awesome live events, and we're starting to different chapters hold their own live events. You know, so well, you have Los Angeles. San Fernando Valley and Orange County. Oh, I didn't know you had San Fernando. When did that start? Well, actually, that's where we started. It was in Westlake Village. Well, that, that's uh, where you used to live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so there, Stands there to reason. reason. Therein lies the chapter. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're going to have each um, each now, starting 2013, a couple things are going to change. And one of them is that members will start hosting their monthly meetings. Um, so that's we have our second Sundays, which is kind of our landmark, where everybody can come together and meet right. people out of their geographic area. That's when I became a member mm -hmm. of an empowered woman, I scheduled myself so I would have to be here on the second Sunday so that I could go to that meeting. Because they're fun and they're, yeah, they're exciting. Fun. And, they're, and you meet wonderful people. You hear great speakers. Um, I have new friends as well as business um, associates, associates but um, joint venture people mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. these meetings. Yes. And it's fun. Well, because we're all like-minded. You know, we're all women professionals and entrepreneurs. We all want to grow our businesses. And that's huge. And that's really a special space that many times women do not have access to. I mean, people at your home love you and care for you, but they don't have that access to the right. resources that you may need. And sometimes your other friends are married or just in a different space, and they don't have access to the resources that you need. So being able to partner with and to join up and have lunch with and break bread with women who really are trying to do, accomplish the same thing is really priceless. And it's fun. It is fun. And they're beautiful fun. places, so the yachts, the luxe. The hair salons, the Santa Barbara polo clubs. It's great. Women can network anywhere. We don't have to be in a four squared room to no. do that. No. No, we can do no. it anywhere. Yeah. I loved um, when Greg Reed spoke. That was on a boat. On the yacht. Yeah, that was. Del Rey. Yeah, yes. that was really fun. And, yes. And, you know, you. I sometimes get claustrophobic. Oh, my God, I'm going to be stuck on a boat <laughs> for three hours. But it went by fast. Very fast. I didn't even feel I was stuck. No, it was – everything was interesting from meeting the people to hearing Greg to uh, um, to, to just finding just – it was just a really wonderful event. And then the one you had most re – oh, the one you had recently with um, the woman financial person. PLJ Advisors, uh, yeah. Crystal Marotti Crystal, oh. at the, our, our party, our celebration. That was Wasn't that amazing. Fun? Wasn't that fun? Well, what was so perfect was finances can be very boring. Social Security, nevertheless. Yeah. <laughs> and not only boring, but overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And we were not taught finance in school. Yeah. And I'm going to be 70, and I still don't know anything about it. So, except how to make it. Mm-hmm. Good. And well, it was very good. Now I have to learn how to maneuver it. <laughs> keep um, it. <laughs> keep it. So her attitude was so, number one, down to earth. Mm -hmm. She broke it down so succinctly and easily. And it was set up so that the women became involved immediately by having those questions on the table. Exactly. exactly. So that it was a group. It was a total group immersion yes. in a subject that could be scary. Very scary, very boring, and um, not necessarily warm or welcoming. And we Social Security so much fun. was <laughs> so funny because there were so many things that people did. You mean my ex-husband can be getting my Social Security? Well, it's not yours. You get yours too. But yes, if you made more money than he did, well, of course I made more money than he did. So he's getting Social Security oh, yeah, from my breakthroughs and breakdowns. Really, you we? mean if my ex-husband dies, I can get his Social Security even though he's been married four other times <laughs> all five of you can get into social security which is terrible news to know though that's um where else would you find that out where else would you know that well so i asked you know. when i was at the social security office but <laughs> <laughs> yes, you head straight down the next day no no, no. <laughs> i asked when i started getting my social security oh, really? i asked different questions about it yeah, but see a lot of women don't you know most women don't a lot of people don't i mean they just don't and so the information like that well because people sometimes they're like what's the value i'm going to get from this membership and so forth sometimes i say it's priceless you don't know i mean yes the obvious are obvious, but there's moments like that. 
I mean, I'm sure that put thousands of dollars in some ladies' profits. Yeah. Know, monthly, just thousands of dollars yeah. because of what they were know that knowledge. And, and then, they went down to the, the, <laughs> right the, the social security office day. the next day. So it's awesome. And it's again, and it was fun. And we had a great time. And we had, it was just a fun event. We had a great turnout. We had a great turnout, great yeah. time, and great, even from the, the uh, icebreaker walking in the door, the tic tac toe. Yes. When they ask you different questions about different things. I um, mean, just being able to participate in things, do your business, meet your friends. Enjoy a lunch, and especially on a Sunday afternoon, and be able to walk away with some valuable information, some valuable contacts. That's priceless. It really is. Then afterwards, yes. a bunch of us ended up in, in the, the bar in the forever. Bar. forever. <laughs> well, no. Well, we weren't there forever because no, we, we were there till about five or six. Well, that's, that's a long time. A long time, time since we were six? there. Started at 11. Yeah. <laughs> That's a full day. <laughs> and that happens quite honestly because you make these new friends or you reconnect with other friends that you get the chance to catch up. I've gone to different restaurants in Hollywood later for dinner, maybe at 8 o'clock that night, and still see some of the ladies that were there that morning at this end, together connecting. They just right. make arrangements. So that is really fun, and it's huge, and, they, and it works. And now you have a new group in um, Orange, County. Orange County. Yes, and that's been really, really well received. We've gotten some beautiful invitations from really the Riviera Magazine, from the different country clubs, from the different restaurants, from we went to a winery, the Newport Beach Winery and Vineyard uh, a couple weeks ago, from Joe Malone in South Coast Plaza. So everyone's been really, really welcoming and embracing Power Women. There's women in business all over, and it's just having oh, a connection yes. for them to be able to kind of really res get the resources. So we got some exciting things things happening for 2013 sounds it you also <laughs> have um a very special workshop the power of seven yes that's where my heart is we're going to do more of those next year um because that is a program that we can actually see you know it's always Susie. it's always um fulfilling to see transformation right in front of your eyes mm -hmm. just like what you do with your work you can see the breakthroughs you can see the change immediately that instant gratification well that's what power seven is for me because when i hear that um some lady can do something in a matter in minutes i mean literally in minutes we get some of the things that we do creating their radio shows their own radio shows creating their own tv shows their own seminars the teleclasses their own products we're um distribution, lead generation, or for sale, creating a blueprint, putting everything together is a blueprint. And when they walk away feeling, okay, now I'm a published author, now I'm a host of a TV show and a radio show, I've got classes, I've got programs, I've got products, I've got joint ventures, sponsors, and affiliates, and I can have a way to put it all on my social media and maintain it under four hours a week and a blueprint on how I'm going to make money, exactly what I want to make, how what's going to funnel into, what I need to do to funnel it into. It's very, very, very empowering. And it happens in minutes. We've done some posts on a radio show where they're getting like 200, 300 people right away. And within, within minutes, people from Spain, people from all over the world, they have never had access to anything beyond what they know, like, and trust. Yeah. And this gives them complete access to worldwide. And most of us... Get, must say that our businesses can be ha conducted anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Anywhere. And we are all are trying to go global because we realize there's a lot of markets out there and we don't need to be limited. This gives them the vehicle to do that. And just to, they don't have to always do it all, but to know how it's supposed to be done and what needs to, to be done. To have the structure. They have a structure, they have a blueprint, and then be able to direct it to a VA if they needed to do that or an assistant. So, But they know exactly they want $100,000. What do they need to do to be able to create that? And that's very enlightening because then we can reevaluate our time and determine what we need to automate and delegate and that because we now we really have a hands-on connection with what our time is worth so it's fun it's in a couple of days some do one days we do two days uh, I do privates I do semi privates we do small groups it's all small and it's all me and hands-on and they don't leave until those things are accomplished and so where did you learn to do all this? I've been an entrepreneur since I was 12 years old. So it's all my life. So I don't bring it in only. You beat me by 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so. Although I did have a company. I wasn't a company. I had a business for a summer when I was 17. But well, that's, I mean, there's that's, that's, a lot of experience mm -hmm. that is attained through being an entrepreneur. And I believe experience is the best teacher. I agree. So people can go take coaching classes and certifications and all that good stuff, which I don't, de you know, I don't find, I do find value in that. I don't deny that. But it's nothing more prevalent. It's get in the trenches. It's just get in the trenches and do it yourself. That's what I tell you. Exactly. Yeah, when, I, when I graduate a class, oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I bring my Norit 8000, you know, my charge card thingy. Yes. Into the classroom. And I run my card, 
and I let it do its sound. You know, I said, that's your favorite sound. <laughs> because a lot of people, coaches and the health professionals, massage therapists, and they don't like to ask for money. And so I teach people how to ask for money. And then I teach them how to enjoy making the money. And, and really, because I, I believe, as I think you do, selling is service. Yes. Yes. If, if I don't sell my service, the person doesn't get my service, they don't get my service, they're missing out on something that could be better, very beneficial to them. If someone doesn't join an empowered woman, they are missing out on an opportunity to really network with fabulous, fabulous women, hear great talks, and have opportunities for all the different things that you offer. You have a business Call every thir once a month on Thursday night. Strictly business with Hel um, Hil uh, um, Harriet, Harriet Cohen. Cohen. Yeah, strictly yeah. business is every month, and and anybody can get on that call. Anybody as a can member. get on the call because uh, yes, yes, yes. Because we have a different topics. You know, like last month it was uh, about how to create your um, sales page and your opt-in pages and the copywriting, or how to create your merchant account, or how to get your Dun and Bradstreet uh, account set up. How to? I mean, there's a lot of how-to's out there. How to create a product. How to do an audio podcast to be able to set up a merchant account to that and sell your audios. I mean, there's a lot of things that we may know our craft. A lot of ladies are very experienced and very talented in the areas of expertise. But the business part is a different story, especially now with the change of technology. That's totally we, different. Who can keep up with it? I was, so. I was at a meeting <laughs> yesterday um, with a – I'm on the board of the International Hypnosis Federation, and we're putting on a conference in – when are we doing this? In March. It goes every year. Mm -hmm. And the, half of the table was, CEO, uh, was um, SEO savvy, mm -hmm. and the other half was – Huh? <laughs> and so I said, no, if you do this, this is what's going to happen. And if you do this, this is what's going to happen. And, but you have to start here to go here to go there and had no clue because, as you say, they're very good at what they do but don't know the business side of it. And if you, if you have a – if you want to sell your craft, you have to have a business. You can't have that disconnect. You can't afford to have that disconnect. No. But you uh -huh. just don't need to afford to spend all of your time doing it. So that's why you and I are able to show them exactly what they need to produce the income. You know, And like you said, a lot of people, even if they, they're, they're comfortable with asking for money, they still don't know how to make that transaction go flawlessly. And then if they're not Now all I need is your credit card. <laughs> That's it. They're just like, so what, what credit card would you like to use? Let's right. basically just go right to that question. But, you know, back on what you were saying about, you know, sharing, it's important. Women are so passionate about what they do. We make such a sacrifice, like, I'm sure, like everybody, but we sacrifice our families, ourselves, and our time and our money and just put so much into what we, we put do. everything into everything our business. Because it's emotional. We're such emotional creatures. Right. And I think that if, you know, um, I think if, you know, if you've been given the gift of a talent, then the best way to say thanks to your being for giving that gift is by bringing it to the bring world. It, bring it out. You know, so if you withhold it from the people that could be beneficial yeah. from it, you're not saying thank you. You're not appreciating it. And sometimes it could be away. So it's really, you have to think of it that way. If you think of this lady needs, that's why I think about with the power of seven. I see women struggling. I see women, you know, can't put the dots together. And I've seen them in business for years and not really making any money. And then when you see something that's like, could be so easy, you know, it's like, you feel it's frustrating. So I really encourage them and I'm really fulfilled when making, giving them that information and seeing that transition immediately. It's like, oh my gosh. Even Saturday, somebody took it uh, a couple of weeks ago. She goes, I've got like four times more traffic on my website. I've got hundreds of people now listening to my radio show in just a couple of weeks. And I would have never had that opted. So now he's like, and now do this. Now take the next step. And now the next, next step. step. And the now Power the of Seven, step. they have ongoing calls after the event. So every month on the third Thursday, we have a call. So we, uh, anything new that I discover, because I'm, I'm always into the internet and I love it, I want to share it with them and any new opportunities and they kind of share information as well so you always keep abreast of what you're doing and get new ideas because I say it's a lot of information it's like a buffet you don't eat it all at the same time but you, you know can't. it's there you can't but you eat, take what you need right now and you right. always go back for more so how do people get in touch with you? they contact and us and why don't you tell them? Um, contact us at anempoweredwoman.com and that's A-N-E-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D W-O-M-A-N.com or call us at 818-865-8563. That's 818-865-8563 or email us at info at anempoweredwoman.com. 
He'll be very glad you did. And if you have any questions for Desiree or for me, give us a call here at the studio, 323-247-7443, 323-247-7443. And, of course, you can always call me in my office, 310-640-8885, for that free half-hour consultation. Yeah, if someone calls now, we had time. It would be fun to do some coaching on live. It would be it wonderful. Be? We had a great caller last week. And so we'll see. Okay, so you call never, in so we can get we can hear more about your business and see what we can see how with you. we can yeah help you with it. Yes, I, I find business. I was I was thinking about this recently. When I was a child, I had two games that I used to play with my best friend. One was we were always riding horses. I mean, Good. they so, were cardboard. Oh. We, were, we, we, we rode real horses, too, okay. but we didn't have them in our backyard, but we had the mm-hmm. cardboard ones in our backyards. They were always chasing around. And then we did business. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, I didn't know this. And I'm 10 years old, and um, I'm sitting in, they had a, a playroom in the basement. I don't remember what the business was that we had. We had little f- three-by-five card boxes, and we had this box, and we had this, and we're doing business. I have no idea I remember what the business was, but... I was doing business. I was 10 years old. I agree with you. Instead of playing house, I was playing business. Yeah, I didn't like dolls. <laughs> well, the dolls were buying my things for my business. They were buying coffee and oh, tea. sweet. <laughs> no, I had ranches all over my bedroom because I liked the horses. So well, I, had, awesome. I, I played with, with um, all those horses and ranches and stuff. And not I didn't have doll houses. Well, you know, there's always this ongoing question about whether entrepreneurs are created or whether you're born an entrepreneur. What do you think? I think... For the most part, you're born an entrepreneur. I think if you really want to become an entrepreneur and you get the right mentors, you can become an entrepreneur. But it is harder for a person who's not born an entrepreneur to become an entrepreneur than it is for someone who's just born into it. And who knows? I didn't know I was an entrepreneur. I started my, my first, when I say real business, when I was 22, I... I um. I probably told this story already. I uh, was my mother told me I couldn't date the boy I was dating, so I married him. <laughs> Solve that problem. <laughs> Solve the problem. I'm a problem solver. And um, a few years later, we both had knew nothing. We went to New York. We have menial jobs. He went back to school, and I was putting him through school. And we decided to, ha- and I got fired from my job. And we decided to have a baby. So I thought, well, my mother's the nation's foremost fitness authority. I'll teach exercise. And I asked her if I could use her name, and she said yes. And so my first company was teaching exercise. And I started in a four-flight walk-up in Greenwich Village. I figured people got in shape just coming to class. <laughs> and uh, and that's how I started it. And and then it, it grew. We moved to the Upper West Side. I started teaching toddlers because someone asked me if I would, and I, my son was a toddler. And then a very interesting thing happened. I had two cl- I had three classes a week. That was my whole business. Needless to say, things were tight. Um, I had a two-year-old class, I had a mother-child class, and I had a women's class. And in my mother-child class, one of the mothers said, Susie, would you mind if I brought a friend next time to watch the class? She's a reporter for the New York Times. I didn't know anything. (laughs) I didn't know what that meant. I said, sure. And she came the next week. I hadn't even washed my hair. I had I, I had no clue what this meant. I taught my two classes, my toddler class and my mother child class. Mm-hmm. They had a photographer taking pictures the whole time. My son was there and part of the time he was being, you know, I need you mommy, I need you mommy type whatever. So everything that was going on and three weeks later, a three quarter page article came out in the New York Times oh. with three huge photographs. And that was on a Thursday. The following Monday, I had 75 new students. Wow. And that wow. was really the beginning. That's huge. 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 <laughs> and then I had to move into my own studio, and then it just kept growing. And in the beginning, people thought how weird it was for me to be teaching toddlers. And then schools started calling me and saying, what are you doing? And I said, I'm teaching exercise. No, what are you doing? Because <laughs> the kids that came out of my school were more educable than those who had never come to my school. Wow. And it became a prerequisite to send your child to me first. Wow. S- to get them into a good nursery school. <laughs> I know. And I had gymnasium. I mean, and I and, and and you know, I'm watching you with an empowered woman and you keep introducing new things. Which I think is fabulous because 
you'll see a need that we need that we need exactly. and then you create it that's where it comes from you know by being i really have a pulse on the women because i really enjoy the women that's why you see me at all these events myself you know a lot of the other leaders of a lot of different communities you don't see them at all the local events where i do because i want to see one what is going on two meet new ladies but more importantly see and hear what they need and what they're wanting and that way we can customize our program accordingly. and that's why there's no other women's group that does what we do no um, right. and, and, it's, and we're the only one that has multimedia which means communicate our messages in a multi multitude of mediums, you know, the, the radio, the TV, the telephone, and the live events and telecalls, and just anything else that's available. Is there a any? Are you dark in December? Yes, I don't know. we're dark in December primarily so we can prepare for next year. Right, and we're already prepared Hello. for that, and because we don't want to compete with the holiday Hello. parties. One sec, we have a caller. Yes, please say who you are and ask your question. Um, oh, my name is Art. Hi, Art. I was just calling in. My name is Art. Hi, Art. Are you in How business? You doing? Are you in business, Art? Yeah. What kind of business? Oh, basically what I do, I sell aqua tea machines. And you heard of aqua tea? Aqua Hello? Yes, well, can, you, can you repeat that, please? It's agua. Oh, that agua. water, oh, water oh, machine, water machine. Agua tea, a water energy machine. Oh wow! And basically, what it's a, it's a new technology, but what basically what it is, basically what it is, is that uh, it sends energy to the water through to your feet, and it basically causes the uh, the uh, energy to cleanse your your biological system, your body. It's like a uh, detox. I think I've, and I've been it's researching a, it, this. Huh? It's you put your feet in the water. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've I've done it. Um, what you, did you have a question for Desiree or for me? Oh well, basically I was trying to get the Margot Letson show, but I, she's. I was wondering what happened. Yeah, I have some questions. I would like to, you know, do a demo on your show, you know, and uh, show people what it's like because I've been researching this for almost five years well, the, before okay. I actually you know, uh, wanted to go public with it. I wanted to be more unequivocal. Than, so then you know, let's do guesswork. this. Let's do this. Give give us your number. Uh, we have your number and we will call you after the show and we'll set something up. Okay. And thank you for calling. And please, anybody else who wants to call, it's 323 Two four seven, two four four three. I'm I I'm <laughs> like I said three two three two four seven seven four four three three two three two four seven seven four four three. Please call us and um, we'll be very happy to talk to you. Yes. So. From there, though, you had a great evolution from your businesses. And all the businesses that you've had, what is one thing that you find consistently that makes a difference? I pick up the phone. And call out? And call out. I'm always on the phone. If I get a card, that person is called within 72 hours. Because, wow. Yeah. And I, I, I know, great. I know. And when well, I come fortune back. fortune is in the follow-up. The for, fortune's in the follow-up. And I'll, after the break, I'll show you my gold phone. Um, I really do tell people, and, and the money's in the phone. If you, t people tell me, my clients tell me, well, I email. I said, how's that working for you? <laughs> they said, well, I don't get responses. I said, no, you won't. You call, and you call, and you call, and you call, and you call. Now, after the fifth time that I've called somebody, and I will call somebody five times, I'll call them ten times, I say, if you don't want me to call you anymore, just call me and tell you. Otherwise, I'm going to keep calling you. <laughs> and I do. And I had somebody say, thank you for saying that. And he booked an appointment. And we're going to take a break now. And then I want to hear one of the things that you've done consistently. I'm Susie Pruden. This is Mastermind Live. My guest, Desiree Dubois of An Empowered Woman. We'll be right back. Please pay attention to the messages that are coming up. They're important for you. This is LA Talk Live, where we're more than just talk. Have you really put your mind? your heart and soul to get through it, or when someone touches home, do you leave it, do you leave it alone, yeah. have you ever tried?
We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just talk. Do you ever let go of your pride and listen to the voice inside? Or are you in it just for play and when it's serious? Hey, ladies. Don't you dread the holiday shopping season? Well, come close and listen up. On Saturday, December 8th, 2012, you can have fun, take care of you, and shop till you drop all in one place. Get yourself a nice massage, have yourself some coffee or tea, buy gifts, purses, shoes, all without kids, husbands, or boyfriends all up in your way. It's the 2012 Beauty, Wellness, Fashion, and Pampering Day just for you in beautiful downtown L.A. at the L.A. Theater Center at 514 South Spring Street. It all takes place Saturday, December 8, 2012 from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hey, get your tickets before December 1st and you will have a chance to win great holiday gifts. So tell your friends, let's go shop, relax, and party at the 2012 Beauty, Wellness, Fashion, and Pampering Day. Your tickets also help the Tracy Foundation, a program designed to uplift young people suffering with illnesses. If you can't join us, please donate what you can at the Tracy Foundation page at funwomeninla.com. That's funwomeninla.com. Or get your ticket now. This show will sell out. That's the 2012 Beauty, Wellness, Fashion, and Pampering Day, Saturday, December 8, 2012, from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. For tickets or more information, visit www.funwomeninla.com. That's www.funwomeninla.com or call 818-478-7747. That's 818-478-7747. The 2012 Beauty, Wellness, Fashion and Pampering Day. Official sponsors of LA Talk Live. We'll see you there. Oh, your skin looks great. Thank you. What's your secret? Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence. Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence? Yes, it's a beauty secret used since the time of the Greeks but and the Romans. The spa in Malibu told me about frankincense and myrrh by Ancient Essence, and now my skin is lovely. Yes, your skin looks great. Call Ancient Essence at 1-800-627-9813. Discover the secret of beautiful skin. Call 1-800-627-9813. Discover the secret. Frankincense and myrrh oil by Ancient Essence. Discover the secret of beautiful skin. Available at fine spas and beauty centers. Hi, welcome back to Mastermind Live with Susie Pruden. I'm Susie Pruden with my guest, Desiree Dubois, who has created an amazing, amazing organization called An Empowered Woman. And so the question that Desiree asked me before the break was, what do I, what have I found has been one of the things that I've done consistently since I first started my business 48 years ago? And with all the changes that I've made, it was to pick up the phone. And so I'll ask you, Desiree, what have you found to be consistent in all the incarnations that you've had with your various businesses? Consistency. You know, the consistency, and it happens all the time. We start something that starts working, and then we get sidetracked, either a new project, new person, new whatever, and we don't do it. And many times, it's the consistency that's the key. Now, the fortune is in the follow-up, which you do by the telephone. That is where your real money is going to be, even today. Yes. Because there's nothing that supersedes the e- that supersedes the emails and the even the written word. It has to be that phone call, because people then are inspired and almost captured to respond one way or the other to the yes or no especially if you utilize it correctly but doing something consistently and that's and a lot of people's problem that putting it on the calendar and every day doing the same thing that you know has worked so whether it's phone calling or an email or um, blogging or social media or just whatever it is if you can do it consistently especially if it's working the next that's what really 
you just said something very important, especially if it's working. Especially if it's working. Yeah, Many because if it isn't working, working, don't well, no, do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I have. Yeah, if it's not I, working. I have clients, and I'll say, "Well, what's what are you doing?" And they'll tell me, and I say, "Well, what's how's working? that working for you? How's that, well, Doctor Phil? How's that working for you?" <laughs> and and sometimes I had one client say, "Well, she said she's so cute." I send out emails. And I said, and what's the response? Well, I don't get any. <laughs> I said, well, then it's not working. She said, but I hate the phone. I said, then don't go into business. <laughs> Just don't go into business. I mean, it really Spare is. yourself in the universe. <laughs> yeah. And, and and then I have I have people who, who are helping me who are very adverse to the phone. And because I'm a therapist, I help them love the phone. And then it helps them in all areas of their life. You know, when you call somebody and you... I did a free session, for example, today. Mm -hmm. okay. I do. I always offer people free sessions to, to get to know me, and I'm very expensive. And when w the person I was talking to was telling me how much she was charging, I said, "You're not charging enough." And then, I mean, I didn't even say that for a paid session. I said, "You've got to double your prices today." She said, "Really?" She said, "But but what if they can't pay?" I said, "Then bargain down. You can never bargain up." Absolutely, absolutely. You know, and 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 give payments, you know, so that people can look, options options so that people can what but what this woman does. I have to bring her to um, an empowered woman. You'll love her. Um, she has a company called Dating Is Fun. You may know her. Um, anyway, I'm not going to mention her name on the on the air, but <laughs> but but she is a hoot. She's so much fun, and and um, and she's not charging enough. And I said, she said, but people can't pay. I said, that's nonsense. People yeah. can. Well, it's just fine, the people that can pay. And I know that I think we all experience that at some point in time or another. And the reality is, is that if it works for you, then you have to find someone else that it works for you. Exactly. Because if it doesn't work for you, what they're paying, then what's the point? You might as well be doing something completely different. Yeah. But a lot of people, I think it's the, the turning point is whether they think of it as sales or not. Exactly. And people are adverse to sales. And if you take away that word sales and just think of, again, sharing, you know, it's a completely different energy different, that goes behind different that. Different perspective. If, yeah. it is. Also, what, what, what Eric Lovholm says is mm -hmm. um, selling is service. It is. But I think fine, too, also that some people are not really afraid of the sales. They're afraid of the outcome. They're afraid that someone's going to say no. Because really, what's the worst thing that can happen to you if you call somebody and ask them to do something? Or is they say no. And for them to say no. So if you're but not afraid. But they've said no before you call because you haven't <laughs> called. Exactly. So, so if, you have, if you're not afraid of the no and you realize that's just not no for right now or no, not at this time or no, it's not for me and don't take it personally. And so it means you're not detached to the outcome, then it's, it's all of a sudden it's, it's fine. Because the only time you're disappointed in a sales call, if you want to call it that, is when you have expectations that are not met. But if you have no expectations, I go, through, I call people to find out what they like, what they, get, what I can do to service them. So sometimes I don't That's have a do product. Too. I don't have a product you know, that I can do, but I can, I call to find out what they're doing, what their type of business they're in. Because to me, I find it fascinating all the things that people create. And if there is something in there that I can be of service to, then I present it to them, and they have the option of taking it or not. But I don't. I feel my my gain and my gift that I get from the call is by knowing who they are. Now I know somebody else that I can either service or utilize as personally or share with somebody else. I have also told people they don't need me. Yeah. Well, if we, they we, don't need yeah. me, I say you don't need me. They go really? <laughs> You're not going to try and sell me? I said why would I sell you something you don't need? Right. Yeah. Then at, and 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 at the same time I've had people. That I'll be in the middle of a session. Person has paid me. Mm -hmm. The hour is paid for. Yeah. I'm in the middle of the session, and I said, "You don't need me today." And they said, "Well, well, well I, I, um, I thought so, but I didn't want to have to pay for this session." But I said, "No, don't worry about it. Why don't you call me back when you need me? You don't need me today." Mm -hmm. And they're stunned. It's not about I sold them the hour, and therefore it's about what do you need. How can I serve you? Being of service. Being of service. And and that way, you really are being of service. And if you think of it that way, you are really being of service. Yeah. You know, again, sometimes it's not something that you can do, but you can refer them to something or someone yes. that can help them. And it really, really, like, why would you not want to make that call? Why would you not want to make someone else's day? I mean, right. I got a compliment the other day about a call that I made last week, and I was just following up on something, but she was really in the dumps. As a matter of fact, I met her here. I met her last show I did here. 
And she asked, do you remember me? And I said, yes, kind of. And she refreshed my memory. And she says, I was really in the dumps that day because I was trying to start this business. It's been really difficult, which I know can be. And you said I had a great idea and I believe in the idea and just get out there and really promote it and don't give up. So that made all the difference. Yeah. So you don't know how you can touch somebody in a day. You know, you don't know where everybody is on the other side of that line. Right. You know, what they're with mindset they're into and what their day has been like. And maybe just your voice to break whatever cycle they're in, especially if it's not a good one, could be a gift to them. And so why would you not want to do that? I agree. Yeah. So tell, tell people call. again. <laughs> tell people so call, again. Call, call, call us. Call us. Call. <laughs> call. Uh, but you can reach Desiree at? Anempoweredwoman.com. And that's spelled A-N-E-M-P-O-W-E-R-E-D. W-O-M-A-N.com or call us 818-865-8563 865-8563 we'd love to hear more about you and your business and see how we can support you and whether it's us or one of the thousands of members that we have in our community I'm sure we can bring some gifts to your world and anyone that's on the line now that's listening can call us and get some laser coaching yes call us at 323-247-7443 Three two three two four seven seven four four three. We would love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. So, what's another tip for people who are, uh, you know, what? It's how about when you hit a plateau? You're going along fine, building, 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 and all of a sudden, it's like it's like being on a diet when you're losing, 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 losing. All of a sudden, you hit that plateau. I always tell people when they're in that space, that's the good thing, your body's just catching up with yourself. But when you're building a business and you hit the plateau, the bills don't stop, but the money seems to even out. And you've just signed up for 17 new things. <laughs> and all of a sudden, it's like, wait a second, I thought I was going to be keep going up. What, what, what's, well, what do you recommend? Well, it's, first of all, it's called flatlining. You know, you get flatlined when you're